Hey everyone, John Henry here, and today in the market psychology video, we're going to be taking a look at crude oil on, well, I don't think I have to spell this one out, a breakout day, right? Very, very strong, bullish, runaway day. The buyers are here, they're here to stay, do not sell. If I hear you selling, uh, I'll be on the other end of you. Uh, if, if I'm completely honest, I'll be buying into your sales happily uh, with a big grin on my face when it goes back to the highs. So today is a very, very strong bullish day. Now, we didn't initially catch that, right? The, the first candle of the day, um, the, uh, it's, it's an okay bar, right? But it doesn't tell you that all of this is going to happen. One of the big clues that we do have for buying on that very first bar of the day, look at the range from yesterday. This range from yesterday formed relatively strong, right? In the very last candle of the day, the bears tried driving it lower to break out of the move. And then we open small gap down into a huge bull bar, tapping a monthly support level back up, notably closing inside of that range from yesterday. That's a big clue. Uh, that is essentially a breakout of a range that failed. Now the sellers may try again because as we know, ranges usually have a kind of breakout move, pullback, and then they'll try to sell from there, hoping for a move down. And you can see they tried selling right there, but it couldn't even trigger in the sellers before it turned back around. Heavy, heavy bullish sentiment. Now you could buy off of that candle as well, not, not you know, let alone the very first candle, but that secondary candle, you know, I would have liked it a lot more had it closed above that first candle's high, showing that the buyers do want a little bit more, uh, but you know, because it couldn't, I think waiting makes a little more sense and likely a lot of buyers are going to be doing the same thing. We know that it's a range fake break of the lows. Buyers are going to be scaling into it, assuming that the breakout's going to fail regardless. Probably a lot of buys as soon as the market opened. But waiting for a trap, let the sellers get trapped in uh, and then dive in. Likely, that's where you're going to get the big explosion. We have a very weak bear bar off the moving average, but knowing that we are coming into a range, or at least we're back into that range area, aggressive sellers may still try to sell into it thinking that that's a breakout pullback, right? And it completely failed. <laughs> Closes right back up on its high. It did go one tick underneath to trigger in the sellers, which means that their stops are gonna be above the highs, easy stop run territory, and actually the entry for that would be right on where their stops are. So that's the type of environment that you wanna find yourself in, trapping the wrong side of trade in, knowing the context of the market, looking for a continued drive higher, and a beautiful bar at that, closing right on its highs. So a big bull bar, triggers in, breaks out, tries getting stuck right there at the prior week high, uh, and it did initially find selling, but again, they couldn't even trigger in underneath that bear candle before going right back up again. Hopefully you're starting to notice a little bit of a trend here. Every time the bears have tried to move, they have failed. Not only did they not even trigger in here, they triggered in here and that completely failed. And now they're triggering in here and they couldn't even get that going again. No sell entry point for the sellers to get in. Fail back up. Sellers are falling apart. Sellers try again here. They fail. Sellers try again here. They fail. You buy it. Right? We know that sellers are trying to get in. Maybe it's just buyers taking profit, regardless of what it is. It's still a bear attempt. Right, Buyers who are getting out at profit are still sellers or selling out of their position, or at least part of it. So knowing that we are getting every single one of these attempts that are failing, I have no reason to believe any of them. So as soon as we get one, you can buy into it knowing that the trend is getting strong and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. It got a little bit irrational. You can see this, ex it, it, just an explosive move through those areas where the buyers now at this point are buying for any reason they can get their hands on. Strong bull close, buy it. Strong, uh, you know, strong bull candle in general, maybe has a little wick on the top, doesn't matter, buy it. Uh, bear candle, buy it, <laughs> right? That's the type of environment that you're in right now. It's irrationally bullish, which means that we need to be irrationally bullish as well. We need to be going along with them to catch this move. This was the trade of the day video. Uh, it's the first pullback that they really had since the run higher. Very unlikely that the sellers are going to get it to work. Why? Well, every single sell attempt has failed. I have absolutely no reason to believe them here, so I'm going to be looking to buy into it. Beautiful move up off of that drive higher as well. Almost back to the prior high of day already. And now that brings us to where we are currently. More likely going to be a bull flag, but at some point we will get a correction, but you have to understand that at that some point, when you do get the correction, buyers are probably going to be buying it, right? So that's the environment that we're in. You don't get many of these types of days. It is a bullish runaway day. It doesn't stop. Get out of the way of the, the just don't sell, right? I can't say it enough on a day like today. Don't sell. Unless it's a profit target, you shouldn't be selling this kind of
kind of market. Gorgeous run higher. It's everything that buyers want to see. Stick along with the trend and you'll be perfectly fine. So just a gorgeous example of how irrational the emotions can get and the market psychology behind that irrational movement. Jump on board with them because they're probably not going to stop. It's like stepping in front of a freight train, right? So gorgeous example of a combination of technical analysis with market psychology. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you found it interesting. And we'll see you next time.